Okay, so the gimmick with uh, Fei Xiao is, is when I do the enhancement, she not only does she run fast, but she actually gathers all the enemies in here. And her passive supposedly says that the more that she gathers, uh, the more damage she'll do. Unfortunately, this is really not the ideal area to do her abilities. Um, I gotta turn off auto real quick. Uh, please note the only reason why that's happening is mainly because like uh, I have the simulated universe where all the enemies are at 1 HP so do not let that fool that just puts all the enemies at a first base down to 1. Um, so we're gonna go to encounter first. Not an encounter, occurrence. Why does it encounter? Ooh, let's go gambling. All right, two more times. Come on, come on, big prize, big prize, big prize. And time entering my all allies will notify all damage. That's good. Notifying all damage early in the game, early is actually pretty good. And I'm actually all out. Damn it! <laughs> Just need two more. Let's go five. This is still level four, so it is gonna be. Um, never mind. I still have the simulation of putting all enemies at 1 HP, so <laughs> I completely took advantage of that. I thought that was only for one time, but unfortunately it's more. Um, I'm gonna do this one because this team is gonna do a lot of follow-up attacks, so that's gonna be ideal. Um, I think... Nitro Mountain with an extended 3 strike which activates all characters ultimately increases the damage they deal like 25%. I think I'm gonna go with that one because thank you game. Thank you. Uh, let's go. You guys want to see more combat I believe? Let's go. Let's go test out a combat. Okay. This really doesn't give any advantage but it still does. Okay there we go. This is a perfect example of what uh, what to expect. Okay, we'll do this because she hasn't really chosen our master yet, Fei Xiao. And then we'll focus this. Yeah, so that's the reason why the combo is like really good. Mainly because like, the moment like Moe's just picks a target, uh, you <laughs> You just you just focus the hell out of that, and then his number. Uh, so pretty much his number, as you can see down there, is a nine out of nine. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you, the editor. You can skip this explanation if you guys want to, and just go straight into battle. But anyway, uh, what his does is um, every three that every three hits on the single par person, whether it's basic attack or follow up attack, it will. It will, it will, look at the face just smirk, what the hell, I'm just noticing that. <laughs> okay, I'm getting distracted. But every three hit, he will attack his own target. And then because of that, that will also activate Fei Xiao's passive, which also does her follow-up attack, because an ally did the attack. And that will also activate uh, March 7th attack, doing the another auto-attack, as you can see that she's about to do right now, the moment I attack. So whether I attack a normal or that, uh, March 7th will do her own attack, I believe, if, if I believe correctly, and then that'll also make Fei Xiao attack, and then all that whatnot. So like, one, then two, then she goes, then she goes again, and then <laughs> you can see like how like this follow attack could get ridiculous really fast. So it is like really ridiculous of how much follow attack this one team will have targeting one single person over and over and over again. And just as that. So there's like really no point to do his this, but the other thing is um, her ultimate is pretty much one that's similar to Akron where it stacks. So I just target one person. And I've kind of found out about this after uh, after playing around this. If you do the triangle first, it actually does more break damage, and then the single target, which is the square, does does more de health damage. I don't know why I was renting on for so long, but like that's like the best explanation I gotta show you. Okay, boss. 
The boss fight is going to be the best exp the best showcase of it. The boss is definitely going to be the best showcase for it. Uh, so let's activate this and then go into it. If I get lucky enough and actually get some adventures, I'm, I'm hoping I get the one I'm hoping for. But either way, uh, we'll do it on you. Should I also like make it slower so that way you guys can like see better because like... I'm also just do this just to extend the video deep more. I, I always like leave it on like fast forward. Okay, so since I already have like over six, I might as well just do this. So as you can see, now the auto is turning into the single target, which does more break damage compared to this. This does more death for some reason. I don't know why. But it's just I don't like I don't know why, but this is just cool. This is just cool to watch. And there goes that. And also what's cool about it is most cannot get be targeted while he's in his little assassination mode. So that's one, that's two, that's three follow-ups, and then there comes another four, and that's pretty much it. So in that one streak, I did five attacks in a single in the single turn, which is just ridiculous. Oh that didn't activate her passive, so that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna activate this just to break him. And so then I could heal Face Shao right now. Okay, so then we do this. So unfortunately, because most is already done with his like nine with his three attacks that he's allowed to do, he's not gonna get any bonus out of this. So you really gotta time it correctly to overlap. I'm definitely going to activate this now. One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like that does like more break damage than like one would expect. And that puts it down to four, puts this down again, does this again, <laughs> does that again. <laughs> And then March 7th is like, oh, I got an idea. Breaks him instantly. And then we're gonna do a bit of attack. Like, this, this is like ridiculous amount of like attacks that happens. Uh, she is. There's so many attacks going off all at once. What's going on at March 7th is, is the moment she chooses a uh, master, if you guys haven't noticed like what's going on with her, is despite her being an imaginary element, so like she would usually do more damage to, uh, toughness uh, damage to her if you guys have not noticed, because she chose Fei Shao who's a wind element, she's now dual wielding wind and imaginary, which I want to say is really cool for, uh, for March 7th to achieve. It is like super cool and very good. So then here we go. So I do this one, two, three, and then do the rest. Dude, this this monkey has not gotten the chance to do any damage. Heal yourself. This gorilla has not gotten a chance to do a single attack this entire time. Because I've been constantly breaking it. Okay, let's heal. Gallifer, heal them all. Okay, everybody heals except for Moss because he's currently untargetable right now. Then <laughs> Moss goes. Then Face Shell goes again. Oh, and he's dead. Okay, okay, we'll do this. Um, I kind of want to get rid of the one that keeps summoning more. If I get if I get rid of the one that keeps summoning more, then I don't. Then that's gonna be less enemies that'll constantly keep attacking me. 
Uh, for... He shall... will annihilate you. Which is nice that she actually does tough this damage despite the element difference. I like how you can choose between like axe or dual blades. Like that's just like nice. Okay. I don't think it really matters because I know the other two also has a chance to summon back up too, which is gonna be bad. Uh, but we can still deal with them. Okay, that's one. So that's two. Then here comes three. Then here comes four. Okay, this poor this poor little doggo is gonna die. And attack, and dead. And then here comes the boss. Uh, we'll focus on you because we do more break on you. Okay, unfortunately, Lee is not enough to break you. Uh, we're gonna do your ultimate now to break that. It's really hilarious for March 7th, but also very so much like March 7th. So we're, so the hunt can only focus on one. All right. So we're just going to do a quick succession of dual blade cutting you slicing you down. Total damage is 95,000, which I don't think is a lot for what she's supposed to be doing, but I, she will be getting there. Like, I hope she gets there. Like, I want to get her there soon, one of these days. But I think the Zeta has to be just right. Alright, she ventures over to a hunt, and she's getting all the hunts. 62, 104,000, is it just me or she's doing more damage now? Okay, this is the reason why I was having a hesitant of who to focus, because that thing does a taunt. And now I have a choice of having to focus on these or not. We'll do this. We'll have Moe's come back out. Okay, I want to make sure like I at least take... Oh, I could take both of them now. Okay. I'm gonna like... I'm gonna immediately break them so that way their self-destruct cannot harm me at this time right now. I know it's kind of like a waste of an attack. Oh, uh, here's the range. Uh, okay. Everybody but Moz. It's... I want to say that's okay, but not really not okay. I really wanted to keep focusing on this guy. Because this guy can do a lot of damage. I know the other one can summon, but I really would rather get rid of this guy more than the other one. <laughs> Time, such an edge lord, isn't he? Moz is such an edge lord, isn't he? I mean, to be honest, this is like a showcase of both Moz and uh, Fei Shao. So I guess like I'm doing you guys a favor of doing two in one. Ow. Okay, I got. I just barely got over to. 4,000 damage. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna get the bonus of 10,000 damage. That usually just means I just kill them. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna get there. Yeah, no. I got close to killing him. But nah. Okay. That's alright. That's alright. Uh, yes, follow-up. Thank you. I needed that follow-up. 
When characters following the path of the hunt deal damage via launching an attack, additionally deals a set amount of damage equal to 40% of the original damage to adjacent targets. That is something I needed. That is perfect. That is exactly what I needed. And <laughs> all that one not, not also see more of her like Jackalice like cloak and all that. You guys all like that. I know it. You guys don't need to lie. I know you guys enjoy that. Seeing them shoulders. <laughs> oh, it's hard to tell whether to take her seriously or not. Amazing how well she actually performs with the blades now too. Ah, uh, that did not kill. That's kind of disappointing how that did not kill. There we go. This is gonna break. Follow up attack. Follow up attack. Follow up attack. And another follow up attack. Along with another follow up attack. Technically not follow up attack, but that's still just another. Another ability. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll break. We'll, like, just take you down. So, unfortunately, I don't know, like, she does 182,000. Like, 183,000. Like, I can't really think if that's a lot or if that's just, like, average. I mean, to be honest, there is another, like, follow team I'm kind of making too, which is, like, just a full counter. Just a full counter team. Which is, like, I want to say is, like, probably going to be, like, the most, like, ridiculous one. And now he's dead. And now you're dead. Like, he is kind of cool because, like, he's all about, like, the assassin. He's a rogue. He hides in the shadow to, like, kill his targets. And that was only round one. <laughs> okay. My goal is to kill this guy because I really hate his little gimmick. Yeah, his number, his counter goes down really fast, and every inter every third hit, he attacks. Yeah, I just want to kill this guy. I just kind of, I just want to kill the timer, mainly because like if he, if we let him take his turn again after he does like his little rewind, um, it'll actually do more. He just did that twice. Wow. I never seen that happen. That's the first time I've seen that happen. That's actually interesting. Okay, so his ultimate will make him do a follow-up, but if his follow-up makes it, allows him to trigger his follow-up, he will do two follow-ups simultaneously. That's actually pretty interesting to find out. I learned something new. Guys, take note of that because that is something to definitely write down. So you guys can definitely see the benefit with this team. So as you guys can like tell, like I'm just like experimenting with this team at this time right now. I'm because like there is like definitely maybe some other things that I could do too. So I'm definitely gonna like try. Um... I'm definitely gonna try on the next round of like my a different team that I want to try out. It's probably not gonna be as good as what we're seeing here right now because it's like this is what the game recommends. This is the ideal team that the game um because like the facial like, requires like a lot of like does she work with the counter follow-ups? Like that's my, that's my question. Like, that's my question. Will she actually work with follow-ups? So, I'm gonna... Uh, 
she should does she activate with that counter that's the other thing i'm gonna be wondering so i might like switch out maws for another character just to add it out of experiment just to see if it works if it works then that's gonna be interesting because face chat does like react depending on the characters attacking them or not He's gonna go twice in this round. I wanna stop you from attacking me, please. And I am gonna kill you with this. I'm killing the TVs because like, I don't wanna have to focus on trying to make sure they're happy at all times. Uh, when they're happy, they give you energy when they attack, but if they're upset, then they take away your energy away from your ultimate, which is really annoying sometimes. I could be wrong. I could be wrong on how that works. Like, unfortunately, it's not an infinite time. Like, she cannot do it, like, infinite. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, because the boss is untargetable, he still keeps his ult. That's actually interesting. That's actually interesting. And then this will take... Well, this is probably not going to kill you, but it will definitely break you. Wait, your ultimate is already back up. Okay. I killed you. And this should kill you. Theoretically, this should kill, but I've always been wrong with the damage output. Yeah, I was wrong. I just realized I have Asia at 12 stacks. We'll try this team out. We'll try this team out. It still does massive AoE damage. I get the instant advance forward. Hopefully, uh, this will help. Okay, we're just gonna instantly activate your ult. I hope you guys are all ready for some music. <laughs> Hopefully they're not copywritten. Yeah, activate everybody's old all simultaneously. Yeah, so they're all weak to quantum. So in theory this should benefit, but I could be wrong. Okay, that was pretty ideal. Was that multi-hit? No, that was not. Yeah, the parry is definitely going to be beneficial. She does so much damage. Okay, I think this might be the right call. I think this might be a right call. When you find this generation, never my Thank you for attacking. Da, 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 da. 
love the counters. This is the countering is working very well. That still does a lot of damage to you. Okay. We made it to second phase and we're looking pretty healthy and we have a good gem going on in the back. It's kind of interesting like how she has like two charges but it's like so helpful at the same time. As long as she's taking all the hits and that's all right. You know, I really got to pay attention to the to when she activates her ult. Thank you for targeting the right one. It really benefits her. Then just is over here. He hasn't really done much. Thankfully, he's able. To, he thankfully he's healing everybody though. So I'm just gonna take that. I'm gonna take that as a win. This is every single match. Every single boss fight is like a. Is like it's like a it's like a. Okay, so that so it does work with counter. What was that? Okay, we're gonna focus on Sam. He's not losing anything. Oh, he! he oh, look, he took some damage. Okay, we'll just do this. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the timers. We're definitely gonna get rid of the timers. Okay, we had a bit of a lag spike, editor. Do not put that in if you don't want to. But then again, it's like something to be expected. Okay, I didn't even need to do anything. You just try to get the counter. Let okay. I don't know how this damage thing going works now. Okay, Sam is almost dead. Right now, she's been carrying this follow-up team. Right now, she's legit been carrying this entire team. That's a sad thing too, because I wanted Face Shao to be the bank damage dealer, which she would have been if I didn't have a bad like setup against enemies. Okay, activate your counter because Sam is about to take her turn, or I'm sorry, his turn. I don't know if you guys want to. I don't know if you guys know or not. And that should finish you off. Oh nah. Nah. N yes, we finished with Facial's uh, Facial's ult. Perfect way to finish it all off. Dramatic punch to finish. <laughs> Sam is aiming at another target. What? And we finish. Thank you. God for that.